Yo, what up everybody? It's your boy D and right now this is the 2.0. Um I'm showing you how to do full DAW mode where um I basically made a beat. I put it it's in song mode right now. You really don't have to put it in song mode if you don't want. You could lay down a full track and and not put it in not have to put it in song mode and then put it in song mode, you know, and put it in song mode after you lay down all the vocals. But I already put it in song mode, so it's ready to go. If I had an artist here, I'd tell him to go in the booth, but I'm going to show you that too because I'm going to go in the booth and just say a little couple things while I'm laying on the track. All right, so the first thing you do after you make your beat, um, you're going to go, I, I click audio right here. I click the audio and I just throw in like, I'm going to throw in like two audio tracks. And then I'm going uh, to go to right here to the channel mixer so I can bring up those audio tracks right here. So I made three audio tracks, as you can see, three of them. Now, um... Now what you want to do is you want to go to tools and you want to go to the metrodome and you want to take the count, the count in, I turn off. You, you can have it if you want, but you don't have to. And the, um, then I click on enable and I turn that off because you don't want it ticking to the, the metrodome to be going while you're recording. Um, this beat is um, 64 bars. If you drag a beat in there, because if I had a beat, I'd be a, a beat already. I can drag it in there, an instrument or whatever, drag it on the track and then you have to tell it how many bars because you don't want it to loop over before it, it finishes so you'd have to tell it how you'd have to stretch it and tell it how many bars that that is it's pretty easy all right um so after you do that now this is one thing that i really i hope that they they do the mix window and the edit window i really would want to put them on separate screens have one on this screen and one on that screen um just it just makes it a lot easier to to, you know the workflow a lot easier when you're mixing a track but with vocals and everything so i hope that i already put that in as a suggestion i hope they you know incorporate that in there so you can have the mix in the edited window on separate screens it's going to work it, it'll be perfect you know um all right so let's go into the let's go into this so all right so first thing you want to do is you want to take you want to go to the input and you want to turn that to mono you want to go to um, mono input one. Um, I take I, I do all of them that way right now. Mono because you don't want to record the vocals in stereo. I never it, it just doesn't really sound right. All right, so after you have that, so now I got I got my audio track set up for um, mono one. Uh, let's see. There's a little speaker here, right, um, right here. I'm not. It doesn't really say what it is, but click on auto so you can hear yourself in the headphones. And how I got it, how I got my setup hooked up, I got the Digi 002 over there, hooked to the Mac up there, and you know that, and that's what, you know, that's how I got my input in, and I'm using the, the MPC Touch. The Ren is over there, but it does work with the Ren. If I had the Ren hooked up. I'd just be able to plug the mic right into the Ren and not even have to use the 002. But for right now, I'm using the 002 because the Ren, I mean, because the Touch doesn't have um, Phantom mic power. All right, so let's get into this. All right, so let me bring this back down so you can see the window. Um, right there. And I'm going to arm, I'm going to arm the track. So the track is now armed. That track is now armed and turn the volume up just a little bit all right so like i said i'm not a rapper so i'm gonna just go in there and say a couple things while it's playing i'm gonna have to click i'm gonna have to click record and then play start and then run in the room all right so check it all right so here we go uh, can hear myself pretty well in these headphones and this beat is pretty fresh but like I said I'm not a rapper so I'm gonna just let the beat play while you see the audio recording onto the, the track right there in the, the um, 2.0 beta public beta and um, I'm gonna come back out right now give me one second All right, so as you can see, it laid down 
the vocals on track one. And now I'm going to arm track two. And it automatically takes off track um, two when I do that. So track two is armed. And once again, I go down here to this little, there's like a little speaker or something right there. And I click that and put it on auto. Um, and you can make it, you can set everything up and set and save it as a template. And then, you know, so you can come back into it, you know. So, all right. So now I'm going to go back in the booth and I'm going to basically, like say this could be a verse or a hook. And I'm going to double it or do ad libs on it. So I'm going to hit play start again. I'm going to hit record, then play start, and then go into the booth again. So here I go. All yeah. right. Mic check. I can hear myself pretty well. I sure as headphones. Yes, sir. This beat is pretty fresh. It is. But like I said, I'm not a rapper. Not a rapper. So I'ma just let the beat play. Let it play. The audio recording. It should be on the, track two right the track now. Right there. In the, yeah. in the, um, the 2.0 beta. 2.0 beta. beta. And um, I'm gonna oh, come it. back out. Wait now. Give me one second. One second. Here I go. This is track two. Alright, so there you go, there goes track two. And you know, you can come back out here, you can play it back. Alright. Mic check. I can yeah. hear myself pretty well. I sure as headphones. Yes, sir. This beat is pretty fresh. It is. But like I said, I'm not a rapper. Not a rapper. So I'ma just let the beat play. Let it play. The audio recording. It should be on the, track two right the now. Track right there. Alright, so now. I laid down those two. So you get the point, you get the logistics of it, you know, um, how, and I can stretch it out so I can see the whole, you know, I can see how far it's going to go, how, how much, you know, further I got in the beat, you know, so it was a short beat that I made. Um, so, you know, you can do edit it from, you can edit it from here or you can, if you click on, if you click on the main to, um, if you click on the main menu, you'll see. Whatever track you got highlighted, you'll see that wave file. So you can, you if you got to cut something out, say you want to trim it or you know whatever, you can trim it. If you 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 can trim it like this, and then you know basically go back to that, then delete that, delete that little section if you want. You know to get get the noise out of there if there's extra noise in there. You know, um, so you can go back to go back to the editor um, the edit window. Um, you can unarm it and then, um, you know, if you want it, you can send it, you can send it to the sub, um, to, to the sub mix, um, to put effects on it. Um, you got your master track, so you can, um, the master track is probably, it's, it's going to be at the end. Uh, where's that? Uh, your mass, uh, that's the return. Let me take off the sub mix in the program. So there, you know, you got your, your your master track right here. Um, yeah, you can see it right there. Your master track. You got um your returns right here. You can turn it off if you don't want to see that. You can just you can basically put whatever you want um to see. So you got your sub mix here. You know, and if you're gonna if you're gonna add any um effects to either the vocals, like if I wanted to, if if I wanted to add something to if I wanted to add something to um track one. You know, I would go. I will go here and where it says inserts, and I will go. I will click it, and I will go to click on VST. I will. I'm gonna go. Say if I wanted to use wave plugins, I go to my wave plugins. Um, let's try the C4 mono. I click that, then click select. So now you got that. You know, right here to do. You know, to do, set the compressor up, or you know, whatever you're gonna do. Um, just like just like Pro Tools. You know, you got all your. Um, your things here and like i said i can move this over to there i can move it over to the other screen but i want to be able to move the whole mixer screen over there um you know so you can add your effects now you can add that effects to there or add it to the submix so if i was to add this to submix one if i was to add that to bring it back over drag that over to submix one like i just did then i would tell i would go to um my send 
which is right here. I, I will go to my send and I would basically um, where it says output. I will go to output and then I will go to submix. I will go to submix right here. Then I will go to submix one. So now it's going to send that vocal, that track one over. It's going to send that over to the submix. So now you see the submix right here. You see it going over to the submix. All right. Mic check. I can hear myself pretty well. I sure as hell. So, yes, sir. And that's how you send, you know, send things to the submix. Um, your EQs, your reverbs, your compressor. Um, you know, if you're going to mix and master it, you know, you like I, like I just showed you that you can use your Wave plugins, all your plugins um, that you use in Pro Tools, you can use in in the 2.0 um, um, software. Um, you can, now, just to let y'all know, um, the 2.0, you do need, it, it has to be authorized, so you do need an iLock. Um so you it has to be it's the software has to be authorized basically so there there ain't gonna be no you downloaded it and sent it to your boy and he has it now now nah, that ain't working brother so um so there you go i mean like i said this is what i really wanted it for i want to stop using pro tools i want to be i just want to go and use one one um daw now i'm gonna show you how how to drag um say if i wanted to drag Say if I had a, a instrumental and I wanted to drag that instrumental over to to here. So I'm gonna show you. So this right here is a this right here is an MP3 right here. I'm gonna show you. This is an MP3 and I'm gonna drag it over to track three. And I'm gonna show you how fast it you know it works when it does it when when you drag it over. So I'm gonna just drag it over. So say if somebody came in, they say, "Yo, the instrumental here's the instrumental," and you want to drag it in so they can record. Just bring it over here and and drop it in and that's it it's in it's ready to go um and then you you know you of course you bring it down to where to where the track starts at so now it's starting right there and that's how you bring the um a track from a mp3 or a wave file just drag it in there now it's on the audio track now you could you know set up some more audio tracks and record um that's it i just wanted to show you that real quick you know i show you i just wanted to show you all that real quick and um um, that's it. It's your boy D. Please rate, subscribe. Um, make sure you put your pre-order in for your X or your live. Um, and that's it. It's your boy D, man. I hope that y'all got a little bit out of this. If you're going to be using um, this in a full DAW to make a beat and record vocals, record your peoples, record, you know, that's it. All right, it's your boy D. I'm out.